Well, I think today is, is potentially a landmark case because we, we, we have a case of what the Constitution does require and does not require. Does the Constitution require redefinition of marriage? And, so, and then you have crossroads with that with sexual liberty versus religious freedom. And in today's arguments, even two, at least two of the justices recognize that there is a potential clash. If the court imposes a redefinition of marriage, then that could threaten religious liberty. What I saw was how unbelievably bankrupt our opponents' arguments are. They have zero reasons to deny same-sex couples the freedom to marry. They were making some esoteric argument that if you allow gay people to marry, it's going to hurt, you know, it's going to hurt uh, straight marriages and the you know most of the justices were just sort of rolling their eyes and just ripping those arguments to shreds even in today's questionings you see the division in the court you see the conservative members on the one side you see the more liberals on the other side and in the middle is justice kennedy and and and, and that's a reality although justice kennedy opening the open the questioning today and one of his first question he, he he recognized that the long-standing tradition of traditional marriage the more people get to know the plaintiffs and the families living in their communities who are gay and lesbian who are raising families and who simply want the dignity of marriage and the protections that merit that come along with marriage they'll understand that it's it's okay it's good it's fine it helps families and it hurts nobody this is an issue that deserves full debate it deserves debate and democratic process, not one imposed by courts.